touchdown Cougars! It's time for some football. At least it is here at BYU, here at a Lavelle Edwards Stadium. It's the spring game, blue and white. Jason, what uh, what jumped out at you from the spring game today? I needed sunscreen, man. This is beautiful out. I mean, this, this has got to be the best spring game oh. spring game weather maybe we've ever had. Absolutely, perfect day for it. I was so fascinated, Jared. The quarterbacks went live. <laughs> And I talked to Garrett Tujay, the new offensive line coach. He said he didn't sleep a wink last night. He's nervous, wondering, oh, man, are these guys going to be ready? But it's one of those trial-by-fire things, and that's the big thing we've seen all spring, Jared. Higher tempo, higher intensity, more expectations out of this group. You, you keep hearing this yelling on the sideline by offensive and defensive coaches, and these guys seem a little more cohesive than they have in the past. Touchdown, Late in that scrimmage, there was a moment that uh, BYU football fans are probably a little nervous about. Ammon Olsen got rolled up on, stayed on the ground, looked like it might be a, a knee issue, but he didn't stay down long, and uh, the, the initial uh, prognosis doesn't seem to be too bad. Yeah, I was on the sideline where they took him back to, and Justin Sorensen, the kicker, went over, and they were looking at a few trainers were looking at Olsen and the doctor on the table, and Olsen was smiling. Justin Sorensen let out a big, whoo, like relief, and it sounds like it isn't as serious. So I just felt my knee kind of get rolled up on, so I kind of let my body relax. Didn't want to strain anything. I felt the pause, but they're going to MRI it on Monday. Um, hopefully it's not that big. I, I don't think it's anything, but I've, I've never had knee problems. So we've seen it in the past. I mean, there, there's there's a certain Darwinian aspect of this and that somebody will eventually go down. You hate to see it, but they had to go live. I mean, Bronco, this was his idea, and he felt like with the group they've got this year, this was the time to show these guys exactly what they, the team they want to be going forward. Final score officially was the West winning 17-14 for what that's worth, but the offense did some nice things. Yeah, and I still don't know what to expect. Kyle Van Noy wasn't out there. Imagine what Kyle Van Noy would have done against an offensive line just starting to get going. <laughs> And Paul is an animal. Uh, you know, I, that, that last play was just a little beast mode moment right there. You know, Marshawn Lynch moment, just breaking tackle. And, uh, you know, he, he, he's just a, a big, strong, fast dude. And uh, he's going to be a good contributor. I'm glad I'm not a linebacker trying to tackle him. And, and you, can, you can see the linebackers going to tackle him. They kind of like think twice, like, is this what I really want to do right now? And, but, uh, you know, he, he's been working really hard. And, and that's, that's tough to make a transition like that from one sport you played your whole life to a completely new sport in college. You know, everyone talks about Ziggy, but Paul is pretty much in the same boat. Were you surprised when he crossed the end zone and he didn't put the ball down? Or you know, <laughs> I, was hoping, I was hoping for a dive just as like a little, you know, shout out to, to rugby. And maybe the ref could give him a little love. So virtually five months until the start of the football season. If you're like me, you're counting down because I love it when football actually gets here. But we got a taste of it today. A lot of fun and one more week of spring camp for BYU. Thank you.